Uh, what's going on guys? My name is Thomas. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm the CEO of my own company, Date While You Wait, as well as an owner of a bow tie line called Be Great Bow Ties. Hey guys, my name is Joe. <laughs> I'm a search tech. Let's talk. Hi guys, my name is Jen. I am the owner of the Instagram gentrification <laughs> and I teach such great as mine. Hi everyone, my name is Christine and I work for New York City Housing Authority. I live in Brooklyn, New York. Hey, what's up? I'm Sean Neon. I'm an artist. I'm from Corona, Queens, Rep Brooklyn, and also South Florida. Hi, everyone. I'm Bells, and I'm a shade queen. <laughs> always talking down. Always, Fatso. Always bringing... <laughs> Manipulation. Well, I feel like one. that's a very huge verbal abuse, mental abuse that partners inflict on each other is manipulating their partner, the weak, just everything. <laughs> Not even the weak because the strong can be manipulated. It's the way I feel like for someone to honestly be manipulated is to is to give them trust. So if you trust that person, um, that's already an opening for someone to manipulate you. It is beat the fuck up. <laughs> Punch in the face, push, kick, throwing the remote at the person. You don't even, <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need scars, just any scars. type of yeah, shoving, action, uh, hitting with on the somebody, car, on somebody forceful else. action, right. physical. Oh, so you think if, you, if somebody shakes you up, that's physical abuse? Yeah. That's a sign. That That's a huge sign. sign. I, You're if a it's in a negative way, yeah. Also, <laughs> that could be a sign of love. So I, when you really love somebody, you know, you just want to... Right, I was just trying to say, it's about, it's about how the other person takes the, the physical... Um, you know what I mean? It's the way that... Okay, so if I'm like being aggressive, this example. If I'm just... Because I think you're cute, I bite you. That's not me being like. Oh no! I see you trying to. You know what I mean? Oh, you're just no. trying. Like, oh, I, I pinch you, or if I he's like. No, but to draw I'm saying like if I pinch you, like oh, because you're so cute. No, no, because no, he's trying to draw the line. Exactly. But these shades are gray, so like I could, I see like there's there's like physical abuse and there's that line like between people who like. That's the next thing. We're talking about the violence. Okay. Okay. But it's the same thing. You're literally getting punched in the face, but because the partner is okay with it, then it's not. Some people like that. Turn so me I mean, on. Yeah. She's me in my face and not turning me on because I'm going to snap. Wait, what? She's talking about SNM. Like some people actually enjoy something. Because that's what he's doing. I'm not sure what abuses is gonna be under, but things <laughs> <laughs> Because it can be looked at, it can be looked at as physical. It can be looked at as, as uh, verbal or mental abuse as well. Definitely. When you when you do things to people, like for instance, you know, you know the person needs a ride, or you know, like things where people need support, but you you purposely do things to not support them. Mm -hmm. um, so like you know, you have children, you don't cook for the children, like things like that. Um, I think that's a, that's abuse as well. Emotional, I don't know exactly. I think it has a lot to do with power, like knowing the power you have, yep. and then taking that power for, up, like away from somebody else. Like turning somebody's some, somebody's phone off, like that. Is that physical or mental? That's mental, emotional. So, do, do, what if someone spits on you? That's physical. What? That's physical. That is physical. And mental. That's all yeah. of the other. That's, all yeah. the other. that's okay. emotional, mental, physical. That's a death wish. Because every emotion is coming out. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what it is. Don't, don't do that. So, wait, what's the worst type of physical abuse? Murder. <clears throat> Well, <laughs> no. well, not even live to talk about it. They'll come back. Thank right. You. I appreciate it. Right? Rape? Rape is, yeah. Yeah, I think that's like the top yeah. under murder. I mean, because you can't, obviously, no dead man can tell a tale, so but rape, you can tell a tale if you choose to. I agree. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to differ from women. I think most women will say rape. I mean, men can get raped as well. Can, that's I mean, true. You, you heard the statistic that's was true. that they're stealing sperm being Mary Jane. Like, that's, that's true. Not, I'm glad I haven't or had that, like that, that problem. Well, you don't know. I haven't had that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I do know. I'm not that problem. Because in the I mean, ethnic communities, they yes. talk about no snitching and kind of like just like getting over it or being tough. Like, that'll, that'll make or break Minding your business. Minding your business. Right. Like, it's their Keeping it in the home. 
-hmm. wait till her mouth, Take her jaw is broken, maybe she'll leave and then she won't. And it's like, mm -hmm. why are you getting involved? And most of the time they don't leave sometimes they because never of fear, right. leave mm -hmm. because of fear or because the opposite they think that he loves her so much he said sorry that this is why yep. i'm Apologizing. getting abused is love yep i don't think it just goes for women it goes for men as well mm -hmm. it, go, I, it goes both like, ways we're not talking about sex we're talking about relationships so we have to separate that in general relationships are one thing people are in a relationship with same sex, it doesn't matter. Like sex, we need to stop thinking about that as a thing. If you're in a relationship and you're physically, mentally abusive towards your partner, that's abuse. It doesn't matter your sex. Yeah, I'm, male or female, like, female, if, female, male, male. Yeah, female. like if you're uh, if you're if it's two I just females had that and sister. and one of them hits the other one, that's being you're abusive. still being yeah. abusive. Yeah. Yeah. If it's if no, no, male no, on no. male. It, like it's two guys that's let me let me so two guys they feel like oh if I swing at my partner and he's a male that's not abuse Absolutely. that's abuse, it's it's abuse. abuse. Yeah. that's still physical yeah. abuse. so we need to just in general not like it's a relationship to a relationship. I think it all starts with manip the that manipulation that like right. you were saying because once you can mani manipulate the person you have them under your control then there are certain things you can do and get away with because you know that this person is under your, your spell, your power. So it starts with the manipulation. I think that's how it first starts. So I think first it's, gonna, it's not going to start physical, it's going to start with mental and emotional and then it could progress into physical. Yeah. Girl, they people are 15 with a lot of Exactly. People get beat up in seventh grade. Eight, 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 I lived in a Haitian household where I wasn't even allowed to notice another boy. So, no, I was very lucky. No. You're very sheltered. Yeah, I was sheltered. So, was you feel like I've had friends, and from like I, my friendship, you know, I stayed away from them because I realized how aggressive they could be. Like, something simple, like I had a friend, and I obviously he had a crush on me, and like, Another guy friend would make a joke and he would get upset like, oh, it wasn't that funny. Like, something like that. Like, that was a <laughs> huge yeah. sign for me. Like, all right. Like, he that was, was a trigger. Funny. I was laughing. Yeah, right. I had really one of my best friends. She, she met this guy online. They got married like two or three weeks later. It was crazy. She ended up moving to, to Baltimore. Yeah, it was crazy. She moved to Baltimore. I kept telling her, I was like, yo, don't do that. Like, yeah, you don't know this person. They end up being married for like six months, and the whole time she was in Baltimore, he was abusing her. What did so, you mean, Black Planet? No, I don't, I don't even know. She, she was, they didn't Christian mean Black Planet. Shade. It wasn't, it wasn't Black Planet, because she, she, was, she was a white girl, she was white, and oh. she was black. He was in the military as well. Wait, um, wait. Until one day I saw, saw her post something on Facebook. I, I didn't talk to her for a while. She posted something on Facebook that was, it was subliminal. Like, it was just like, it, it, I, I knew something was up, but it didn't quite say it. So then I reached out to her on Facebook. She put the bait out. Kind of found out this guy was like abusing her. So I went and picked her up. I, I drove from here Woo! to Baltimore. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come 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 he should have got with you. That's why he told me. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, my God. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I, went, I picked her up. I brought her back to New York. And like we sat down, had a heart to heart. I was like, listen, you got to leave this guy alone. And literally, I was like, if you if you go back, like I'm, I'm never, I will never do this again. I will never go out of my way again to, to go pick you up somewhere. Was he a she literally went back. She literally went back like the next two weeks. Of course, Why? she went back to him. Are you guys still friends? Out. Wait, I have not. Like we're friends on Facebook, but I haven't. Like I haven't. She's she's since divorced, and that was like two or three years ago. But oh, okay. um, she went back, so they end up going. She ended up going back to Baltimore, Cow and I didn't talk to her for like I didn't talk to her for like eight months. Like I refused to. She would hit me. To be honest, anybody in the military? Uh, I didn't want to say yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. I'm gonna that. say it though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't want to say that. I, I agree with that. I agree. They but, they but, like, explain though. Military. Like, That's a key agree. sign. They experience a lot of <laughs> post traumatic stress. Like they they witness a lot of tragedy firsthand, and I don't think it's a it's a lot for them to deal with. They don't get the counseling that they need you know they're always away from their family they have no choice but to mingle amongst the ones that they're with um and it's just a lot of stress on them it's a lot of stress i feel like not everyone should be away from their family for 26 months like they need to swap this out like they need to revamp this whole army military program just like it's just not conducive for the health mental health mm -hmm. so yeah it just shows that like Based on your past history, what the abuse you've seen, you've been through, it could—that's a sign of if you're able to re 
do the same thing. It's triggers. So, triggers, right. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes people go to the military because they feel like their life at that particular moment, I don't know, I'm just kind of saying this, but like everything is going downward spiral. And it's yeah. like, oh, there's nothing else for me to do. Let me Pop just go up. to the, you know, let me just yeah. go to the military. Right. And then they don't really deal with the problems at hand. Right. Then they then have an issue. Um, legal <laughs> weapons. And it's like, you don't need a weapon. Honestly, me personally, I went through the police academy. Well, I went through the process. And when I got to my psychological exam, I passed the written, but not the oral. Not because I'm not psychologically stable, but because of my background, which brings it back to domestic violence. So like, at first I was so upset, like why would they not give me a concealed weapon? But because of the reports, it's like, now it makes sense. Like why would you want to give me a weapon not only one, but two, because you get your you get your gun and then you get an off-duty gun. Put a gun yeah. in her possession, knowing she has a background. A background in what? Domestic violence. So like, I mean, like. Have you have you been abused? Is this off camera? Can uh, does it matter? Because I don't want. To... I mean, not not. It, it's what's considered domestic violence is that if I call the cops on my ex, well, I have called the cops on my ex boyfriend because we had arguments, we had fights, and if people hear people call the cops like, oh, there's a disturbance, that's considered domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So like it was, and from um, the way my timeline was, it was too many in a in a short time span. Okay. So they're looking at me like, what's really going on? They, I mean, they know everything. So like yeah, they when you go know. through when you go through the psychological oral exam, the psychologist is asking me questions, trying to manipulate my mind, trying to see you know, because they're actually like, oh, are you in a relationship? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. And they're like, well, why aren't you in a relationship? And they, you know, and I tried to be very well. I was very very vague, and that was a red flag. Yeah. So. Well, Instead of like kind of not putting on a front, but a pro you know, everyone puts on a professional front. Mm -hmm. um, was it? Were you too? I was candid just, with them no, that I, they felt that she wouldn't know the difference of being on the field and in front of you know you know what I mean like what what, what was the reason for that well they never really gave me a real explanation but off of my background and speaking to my investigator she just was like you had too many domestic violence reports in a short time and yes and no yeah, I mean, like, there was some, I guess, it, like I said, goes back to we're meant to grow up and be tough. So it was just like, please, this nigga not going to do nothing to me. But it's like, in the back of my mind, it's like, you don't want to be completely naive because someone can snap at any time. So you had signs? Definitely. Not in the beginning. But you guys continue to have it. Yeah, but, like, I can speak for myself. It's hard to distance yourself from someone that's emotionally unstable. Like... They may act out, they may do whatever, you may try to run away, but they always, they're, they're connected to you for yeah. whatever reason. And like, then you always feel like you can help them. Like, yeah. And I think that's, that's the manipulation thing, of that. That's yeah. where it was yeah, in the beginning. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, my, I've never experienced my dad abusing my mom. I grew up in a household where it was, you know, close-knit. My mom, my family, anybody in general, I never experienced that. So, like, I know that's not something to tolerate. But you try to be soft and be like okay well maybe this person needs help because there's so mm -hmm. many people out here in this world that need Absolutely. the help that don't get it yep so i'm like okay cool fine let me find the resources uh black men in general don't like to talk about their issues they don't want to see psychologists they don't want to see anybody so mm -hmm. it's like okay well talk to you if this is something that i could try to fix let me see what i could do yeah and if when I spoke to a psychologist, he said, listen, let me tell you something. If the person does not want help, they, it, it can't, you can't help them. No matter what you do, there's nothing, it, it's not going to work.